Hi everybody, my name is Emily and I'm an assistant librarian here at Fayetteville Public Library. Today we are doing Kids Create where I'm going to show you how to make crystal snowflakes out of salt and water. The supplies that you will need, a pipe cleaner, some string, and these can be any color that you want. I personally think that it's the coolest if you use white or light blue. Um, but if you use a dark color of pipe cleaner, you'll be able to see the salt crystals more clearly. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need a cup or a mason jar. I have a solid cup, um, but I think it would be really cool if you picked something like a mason jar so you could see the crystals forming throughout the time that it sits. Um, this is all that I had. Um, and it works just as well. You just can't necessarily see the progress until the end. You will need a writing utensil. You'll need a pot or a kettle to boil water. And the last thing is lots of salt. Parents, for this, you will have to make the salt water. All you have to do is fill whatever container you're using almost to the top with water for however many snowflakes that you're making. So if you're making three snowflakes, you would add three cups to your pot and you're gonna boil that water. When the water is boiling, you're gonna want to take it off of the heat and then pour a little bit of salt in at a time and just continuously stir. Um, you will use most of the salt. Keep stirring and keep adding salt um, until you see crystals start to form on the top of the water, on the surface of the water. You're going to want to let that cool before you put the pipe cleaner snowflakes into the mixture. And now back to the craft. So what you want to do is cut this into smaller pieces. If you can fold it into three sections or four, Make sure they're about even, something like that. And then you're going to want to cut the pipe cleaner. This might be kind of hard. Cut the pipe cleaner to equal sized pieces. So now you've got three pieces. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna crisscross two of them. Take one and wrap, wrap it around like that, see? And then you're gonna take the third pipe cleaner, stick it in the middle again like that, and you're gonna wrap this one around A full time and now you have a snowflake and if you want to you can make different designs by wrapping extra pieces of pipe cleaner around the ends you can add more or less design you can connect them with other snowflakes this is the simplest design that we've got now this is important you want to make sure that your snowflake fits into your cup, okay? So I'm probably gonna have to cut some of the sides of this just so they're all a little shorter. Okay, so now our snowflake is smaller. What we want to do is tie your string. You can either tie it around the middle of the snowflake or you can tie it around the top of one of the pieces. So now that we've got that, we want to suspend it in our cup until it's almost touching the bottom but not quite 
and then you're going to cut your string above the top of the cup by a little bit because you want to have room to tie it to your writing utensil. Pull it out. You're going to tie the other end to your pen or pencil or whatever you grabbed. Do it just like that. So now you can see that it's hanging. And you want to test it before you put anything in the cup. Set your writing utensil right on the top. If you look down, and your snowflake should be almost or barely touching the bottom. And once your salt water has cooled, you're going to want to pour it into your cup about this full. If you have these red plastic cups, it's to the top line, um, but this is about three fourths of the way full. Now, you're going to take your snowflake and dip it into the water, and it's gonna wanna float, so you wanna make sure to push it down. And now all that's left is to wait. So this is the fun part um, if you have a clear cup or a jar. Um, so you'll want to place your cups with the snowflakes submerged in the salt water on a sunny windowsill or outside um, for at least two days. Um, two to four days is the window. After two days, and after you pull it out of the water to let it dry, it should look something like this. If you used a white pipe cleaner after two days, it should look something like that. And something else you will notice in your cup is the salt residue. Um, so it will actually become like a sheet or like will form into chunks of salt that you can actually pick up. If you do put your cups outside, just make sure that it doesn't go below 32 degrees because the water will freeze. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Kids Create. I hope you have an amazing winter holiday, and I hope to see you soon. Kids Create airs every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Thanks for watching.